People ask me all the time, what are your settings? How do you aim so godly? Why does your game look so good? And today I'm going to tell you all about it. But before we get into it, make sure you drop a sub, leave a like, and also follow me on Twitch because I do have drops enabled on April 6th and April 9th, and I stream almost every day. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. So right here, we're in the station. We'll go through the settings one by one. So as we see here, we go to the settings. We'll start on the very first page. I do have a 4090, which is absolutely busted. But again, these settings I would recommend on almost all cards. Again, if you can use use them one thing i do play on is full screen mode because if you go windowed you do lose a little bit of frames but that's okay my resolution is only 1080 i don't have a 1440p monitor i do not have that i do use nvidia dlss and i do use performance mode you do need a geforce rtx graphic card for that but if you have it go ahead and use it i don't use low latency i don't use that i max out my fps at 240 i used to do 144 again i would probably recommend 144 for just the station that's probably the best way to do it so you don't abuse your graphics card fov make sure that's at 100 so you just have more fov it's definitely needed and for gamma put it all the way up at 2.4 trust me it'll help you out a lot for colorblind mode i don't use it at all for interface scale you could put it all the way lower but just put it put it just put it at one it's the safest option now for the graphic settings for the video settings this is what i use if i put auto detect on i would have everything on high but basically this is what i choose for draw distance what i do is i put this on high draw distance and adjust at which distance specific assets will be made visible so this kind of helps me see people see things and far far distances i like having these all the way on high so shadow post process i both have on low because i don't feel like i need those for texture i also have it on high this makes so the texture quality of the surface makes things appear more or less sharp so it makes the game look better overall i just like seeing a pretty pretty game so i put that on high visual effects i put on low and foliage i put on low i like foliage on low because people hide in bushes helps you see a little bit better into bushes helps a little bit in that regard but now for the advanced options v-sync i have off show fps on the x12 off i don't use dx12 i have tried dx12 it didn't work for my setup it might work for your setup but for my setup it did not work put dx12 on try it out for a match or two if it doesn't work turn it off i tried it for me it didn't work but it could work for you motion blur if you have this on please please leave multi-thread rendering is something i do have on i did try this and having it off and i didn't like it when it was off so again try this one as well see how you like it on and off for me it works for me having it on and for this last one i just have it off i just don't even know the studs i'll be honest i have no idea i just turned it off now for audio i won't really go through these these are my audio settings there's not really much to know all my audio settings are different than yours so again put it as you will audio is audio i do use binaural audio that's something people do want to know binaural audio is something i do have on i don't have this off i have it on so binaural audio i would recommend turning on but for everything else that's basically on you and based on your settings and how much you want to listen to different things that's different for me but now for my controls this is where my sense comes into play i play on 800 dpi on my mouse and for my sensitivity it's a 1.1 sensitivity mouth smoothing is off because i don't like that i don't like turning on enable per optic sensitivity i like getting used to one sense and that's what i use so i use the 0.8 sense for my ads and that's it for every single scope i'm telling you get used to one sense don't turn on enable per optic it's gonna get you thrown everywhere trust me use one sense for your ads it'll help you in the long run for sprint toggle i have that off crouch toggle i have it on that's important and targeting toggle i have off for my keybinds nothing really out of the ordinary the only thing that's kind of out of the ordinary that i have is i have two crouch buttons my left control is my usual crouch when i'm using when i'm just slide jumping and my c is when i'm trying to super slide off a ledge because it's hard to press control two times really quickly so press c and i double slide off a ledge to super slide that's how i do that that's the really only change i have in my settings nothing else has really changed at all and for game i mean this is really nothing crazy it's just this is what it is nothing really changed make sure you do have field of view movement changes off so it doesn't change your fov for anything this is basically all you have to know about my settings again as you look in the station my fps is pretty good my game does look pretty pretty in the station i can run around in a raid too just to show you guys how my game looks but overall in the station it looks pretty good overall for the graphic settings that i rock i could turn it all the way up i'll rock around which is these as you saw i have two settings on high like i showed you before everything looks pretty good nothing really looks stellar but it doesn't look bad at all the water looks good creature looks good it's it's really nothing to complain about you know what i mean so again i definitely recommend using my settings as they work for me and they might as well work for you why not boys thank you for watching i'll see you next one